Today we're going to be talking about Adder stock and why it could be the next stock to short squeeze. Let's get into the video. Hi everyone, my name is Zach and welcome back to Finance Bro. Before we get into the video, I'd like to ask you guys to please leave a comment of your favorite stock of the moment, why it's your favorite stock of the moment, and also consider leaving a like and subscribe as it really helps with growth of the channel. And if you guys want to start investing in Adder stock or you just want to see our public stock portfolio and why we buy and sell stocks, go ahead and get signed up with the first link in the description with Public the Social Investing app. You'll be able to see all different perspectives from a bunch of different famous people on stocks. So go ahead and get signed up with that and also get up to $70 worth of free stock when you deposit $1 on their platform. With all that out of the way, let's get straight into our stock for today, which is going to be Ethereum stock. So here we are on Adder stock on public.com. Uh, now it is four because it woke up really late today. So I did miss trading today, sadly. Uh, luckily I am holding Ethereum stock. So I came up on a nice bag today, um, but let's go over a little bit more more of this. So Ethereum is up. Um, Ethereum shares are trading higher on abnormally high volume. The stock is being circulated as a potential short squeeze play by retail um, traders on social media. Uh, so yeah, if you guys do go to public.com, when a stock is like up, you know, 10, 15 or 50% 50 in Ethereum's case, they are going to give you a little synopsis on why the stock is up so much that day. So um, that is the reason they gave. We're going to be going over an article about this short squeeze, um, as well as doing technical analysis at the end of this video. So go ahead and stick around till the end of the video if you guys want to hear all of that. Now, Ethereum is a stock I'm quite familiar with because we have already made two videos on it in the past two weeks. If you see here, I made a video on it about five days ago uh, saying that it's about to explode, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then I made it about two weeks ago um, saying Adder stock is Wall Street Bet's next target. Well, today that is sort of coming to fruition. Um, so yeah, let's check the social activity around uh, this stock. So what I like to do is go to stock twits and actually check, you know, is this stock trending or is is it just like, you know, a fluke? But yes, Adder stock is trending up 56% today. Number one on stock twits. Not only that, but they are the most active stock on stock twits. So people have basically talked about it 18,000 times in the past 24 hours, obviously because of how much it's up, but it is trending number one and most active. And not only that, they're the second most added to watch list out of any stock on stock twits as well. So overall, whenever a stock is at the top of trending, most active and watchers, you can pretty much expect that that either did extremely well or is going to do extremely well soon. But anyways, let's get into our article from today from investorplace.com uh, by William White. This is a short squeeze watch. What to know as investors push Ethereum or Adder higher. So basically, Ethereum stock is on the move again today as the meme stock stock rally uh, continues to send shares higher on Monday. There's no recent news that investors need to know about. The most recent news is going to be on my video. So if you guys want to check those out, go ahead and, check, uh, go ahead and do that. Um, it's going to be on our channel on the videos. Um, but instead, retail investors have targeted the stock for a short squeeze. As more traders pile in, shares of the stock are getting pushed much higher. Of course it would. That's how stocks work. Uh, before the most recent short squeeze kicked off, Adder stock was still trading below a fair bit of the $10 price mark. Um, however, shares have seen some growth in the past two days. Um, of course, traders are going to be want to be careful about jumping into Adder stock. They say this. Um, it's completely possible we'll she see shares fall again and that could leave some investors stuck holding the bag. This isn't the first time that they have covered uh, Adder stock, so you guys can um, you know, go check that out. I think we actually covered this in our last video, um, but we also covered Adder stock uh, the last time it saw a burst in trading. That happened in the end of August. Obviously, we did as well. Um, it was the result of a new shareholder perks program that was announced by the company at time. You can learn about that at this link. Uh, with renewed interest, um, from retail investors comes heavy trading of adder stock as of this writing more than 76 million shares of uh, changed hands that's a massive surge compared to its daily average of about 8.3 million so basically they 10x the amount of shares that are normally being trading and that's why it's up so much today and it's because people are pushing it as retail investor um a retail investor stock um, but yeah, uh, there's plenty of stocks worth looking into, such as AMC. So that's what they say. Uh, basically on this, they just say this is just a short squeeze. So let's go over the short interest on another um, 
website. You can see here on fintel.io that the short volume ratio has been extremely high ever since August when this thing was uh, initially um, being pushed up. Uh, so basically people were adding to short positions because they figured Adder could not sustain the levels that they were actually at. Um, as of today, Finra short volume was 50 million, which is 35% of the total ratio. Um, in terms of uh, the percentage of short interest that was shorted over time uh, is 41%, but that was also in August. So we don't know how much is actually shorted uh, currently. Um, but the short interest over time was at 23 million. So you can expect a lot of people to be covering their positions today and tomorrow just because they don't want this thing to get out of hand, kind of like AMC did. But yeah, now that we kind of know more about Adder stock, how much it's being shorted, um, we don't have exact numbers on how much it's being shorted, uh, but we do know that it is a ton. We can go over a bit of technical analysis now. Uh, we can see here uh, that this used to be a stock trading at about $48. So the fact that it's at $18 might seem crazy now considering it was just trading at about $3, um, but it used to be trading at $48. Now the valuation was a bit rich back then, even above 30 the valuation is a bit rich. Um, but when retail investors are trading, they're not thinking about how rich a valuation is, they think about how much money they can make. Um, now, in May, used to be at about 13 to 18 dollars we see a pretty strong support here at 20 dollars we have a strong support at 20 dollars this is what i want you guys to take note of as it comes into trading tomorrow because um, i'm going to be posting this at about five or something uh, just remember tomorrow that there's a strong support or sorry resistance at 20 dollars if we can get above that resistance, we could be going all the way up to the next support line at $25. So going into tomorrow, I see a max um, amount of profit of about 20%. Now, is it just going to go up? Could it possibly go down? Yes, it could possibly go down. I think we are going to find a bit of a support here at the $16 mark. Now, this is what you guys should be watching out for today forward to uh, tomorrow. If it breaks past $16 and starts falling past $16, we could be seeing um, levels of even $12, which would be pretty massive losses. Uh, so just make sure that you guys are looking out for this and make sure or making sure that it doesn't go below $16. And if it does go above $20, then we could be seeing another rocket ship uh, tomorrow, as long as this volume down here keeps up. Uh, now the RSI is only sitting at about 60 right now, which is not too overbought. Uh, so there is a, every possibility that this thing can continue to run into tomorrow. But yeah, that is pretty much going to be all I have for you guys today. Sorry there wasn't much news to actually go over for Ethereum stock. This is simply a um, short squeeze play that retail investors are trying to do throughout the week. Now remember those uh, levels I told you about, the $20 resistance, $16 support. If it breaks either of those, that could be indicative of whether it's gonna be bullish with the $20 resistance break or bearish with the $16 support break. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna be it for today. Make sure you guys leave a comment, like, and subscribe if you guys found any value or were entertained by this video as it really helps with the growth of the channel. We're trying to hit 12K sooner rather than later. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Zach and I hope to see you in the next video.